Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse here. It's such a blessing to know that so many of you are out there enjoying our YouTube videos. Thank you for doing that. Now, you don't want to miss anything, so like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. Why? So you will know every time we post new content. That's like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Pretty simple, isn't it? Now, watch this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to Faith the Facts. I love this little segment. It's a blessing of the Lord. You know, I've had many people come up during my ministry and say, man, you got some guts. I said, guts? Yeah, you seem so bold. I want to talk about that today, being bold in your faith. Here's a wonderful scripture in 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. And I love this. And this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything, According to his will, he heareth us. I love that, man. Now, you anything, just come and bold it to the throne of grace with a petition and a supplication with thanksgiving. That's a powerful, powerful statement. Watch what he says to Joshua in chapter 1, verse 9. God says this, Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Or in other words, Joshua, I don't care what comes your way. Be bold in it. I made up my mind, bless God, that anybody can fail. Anybody can quit. But it takes someone to stay the course, to believe God's word no matter what. So if you're going through a sickness today, go through it and get on the other side that by Jesus stripes you are healed. I don't care how bad it is. I don't care if it's stage four cancer. Get bold and take the word of God and say, Jesus took my infirmity. I don't want it. He bore my sickness. I don't need it. And by his stripes, I am healed. And flat, get, if you got to get rough with it, get rough with it. Because that's what boldness is all about. You see what I'm saying? And when you do that, you will complete your destiny and reach your destination. That's what I mean by faithing that fact. Well, what about my family? But I want my family saved. Let me tell you something. You got a promise. The promises of God are far more powerful than the sins of people. Do you understand that? And you got the promise of your family. Think about it. Your family down to a thousand generations. You know how, how far back that is? That's a long way back, but take bonus. And you can just tell them, it's just y'all tough luck that y'all are related to me. That's what my mother told me. Boy, you getting saved whether you like it or not. It's your tough luck you was born to me. I thought the woman was crazy. She's in heaven now. I said, that woman, she crazy. But you know what? She saw me preach this gospel before she went home to be with the Lord. Why? Her boldness, her boldness in her faith, standing on the word of God no matter what I said, no matter what I did. She didn't deny what I did or, or said. She said, he's going to say what God say one day, and I am doing that today. That's what I mean by being bold in your faith. My God, just stand on what you believe and say it out loud and let people hear that because it's going to bring boldness to them. Nobody likes a wimp. You know that. <laughs> I remember the movie The Godfather. And, and, and I, you know, that Godfather talk about nobody liked Fredo. You <laughs> Fredo was the wimp, you know, the wimp boy. You know what I'm saying? No, everybody wanted to be Michael Corleone, Vito Corleone, Sonny Corleone. They didn't want to be Fredo, you know. If you've seen that movie, you know what I'm talking about. Just be bold, bold in your faith, bold in what you believe, no matter what, no matter what you feel. And that's a very important statement, what I just said. I'm not moved by my feelings. People say, uh, how do you feel? I said, I, I don't, I'm not moved by my feelings. I'm moved by my faith. I know that sounds crazy, but let me tell you something. God's word's true, and it'll come to pass, not some of the time, all the time. Stay bold in your faith when you believe in God for the answer to your problem. I mean, let me tell you why people get defeated. They get defeated all the time because of the word time. You know, Satan will say, if we can delay this, then we can throw barricades, all kinds of stuff like that. They'll quit believing for it, and they'll quit praying for it. Well, bless God, I won't. I, I, I pray till I receive. I just do. Now, who don't want it yesterday? We Americans, we want it yesterday. You know, we like that things are done real quick. But God's word is true. So I stay bold in faith, bold in my confession of salvation, bold in my love of the Lord. That's what you need to do today. No, no matter what problem you face it, face it and faith the fact. And God's word will come to pass for you, not some of the time. All the time. 
You mean all the time? All the time. If you just bold and won't quit and don't give up no matter what anybody says. Now, it may seem foolish. It may seem stupid, but you're working on something. See, you're working on what you believe in. You're working on receiving what you want. See, that's so good. Be bold. My God and God's word will work for you. Faith that fact and guess what will happen? You'll be blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed going in, blessed going out, and you'll have a great smile on your face. Till next time, this is Jesse the Planet saying, Faith the Facts. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.